Yulong, our Asian innovation analyst. Um, Yulong, there's a few questions out there uh, around Agora, given the, the recent uh, price move. Um, could you just share your thoughts uh, on the company uh, and our view? Thanks, Ren. Yeah, happy to. Um, so for those of you who don't know about Agora, um, this is a platform as a service uh, company that enables real-time communication. And when I say real-time communication, this is not just a typical Skype, uh, Skype or, or FaceTime level of uh, real-time communication. Um, they provide uh, um, a, a, a many to many uh, um, uh, high quality uh, real-time communication uh, up to millions of users per, per uh, single instance, uh, which is something very uh, technically challenging. And uh, even companies of decent size uh, cannot afford to do and, and don't have the time to, to uh, do in-house. And um, we saw uh, the stock um, uh, uh, rally pretty rapidly over the course of the last several weeks. Um, and I would say there, there are two main reasons that, that are attributable to this, uh, uh, this rise. Um, the, in in mid-January, um, you know, in China, also, by the way, this company uh, is based in China in roughly 75% of revenues uh, uh, is currently generated from China. Um, and in, in mid-January with the uh, COVID-19, uh, especially, especially the UK variant um, uh, resurging in, in China, in northern parts of China, uh, we saw cities including Beijing having uh, shut down schools. Um, and, uh, you know, with that, uh, the online education uh, is a, uh, one of the key and markets for Gora um, is um, likely going to see a resurgence uh, in, in usage. Um, and the second reason is likely a more relevant reason uh, for the stock, uh, stock performance uh, is the rise of Clubhouse, which many of you uh, likely have heard of. Um, the, uh, so Agora is notorious for uh, uh, you know, being the enabler of uh, Clubhouse's uh, um, uh, real-time engagement solution. Um, and it is literally built within a single week uh, during the beta stage. And, um, you know, the, the company has, uh, is, is invite only uh, currently still. And throughout last year, um, the data we saw were, you know, in the tens of thousands of users uh, throughout the end of the year. And in the past months, it has grown like a hockey stick going to uh, the last number I saw is around 3 million. Um, and if you do a simple math of taking the list price of 99 cents per thousand minutes, which is the, the, the list price that Agora charges its customers, um, and you kind of map out this growth trajectory for, for Clubhouse, um, it's not very difficult to get to a, uh, a a very sizable revenue growth on a run rate basis for, for this year, which is not currently baked into the uh, consensus numbers. Um, that said, we do believe that as uh, Clubhouse or, or Agora's companies that uh, go from the startup stage to uh, a home run, uh, a massive hit, uh, it's more likely that uh, their customers will uh, multi-source um, or engage in, in a volume discount type of situations. Um, so that's something uh, important to keep in mind. Um, but overall, in terms of a long-term prospect of the company, um, we think Agora is a very interesting way, a platform agnostic way to play this virtualization uh, theme that we have um, in terms of metaverse, in terms of uh, more uh, activities done virtually. Um, and uh, yeah, with that, I will turn it back to Ren. So what, I'll just add one thing there, Ren uh, and uh, Yulong. It is really interesting to see uh, the, the Chinese um, uh, develop this platform technology more effectively, because Zoom is the same thing that was developed in China. So Zoom and, and Agora both, uh, as we, um, as we face these virtualization cha challenges and opportunities. So 
they definitely have uh, they definitely have some core DNA there to to um, to offer us. Kathy, you brought up a really good point. Um, so both of uh, one interesting fact is both of uh, the founders of Gora and Zoom came out of uh, the founding team of Webex. Um, and uh, yes, Zoom. Most of their engineers are a lot of their engineers are based in, in China. Um, it, it's always been uh, based here in, in uh, Silicon Valley. And Agora initially was also uh, founded and, and based in uh, Silicon Valley, um, but they couldn't really find platforms that, uh, uh, or customer startups that could use this real-time communication capabilities. Um, whereas in China, uh, you know, live streaming, online education, uh, you know, social commerce were really taking off. So over time, they, they had to take the team back to China and really service uh, that uh, uh, parts of the world. Um, so it's it's very interesting how the product market fit evolved, um, you know, depending on what region uh, of the world you're in and what kind of customer appetites you have. 